Hello, this is Thomas Van Bommel with my .NET chat API. Um, here's just a little overview. There's five current, there's five endpoints, a create, login, and logout for the account section, and a send and get for the chat section. Um, comes, there's one response that uh, responds with the date of the response and the object that it's responding with. Uh, just to start out here, we'll open up PSQL, which is the backend database. You can see that we have no users and we have no messages. So we come back here. We can create ourselves a user. And we'll create the user Seca with the password Thomas. Submit that. And it comes back successful with an empty token. Um, we can also try to create again. And we can see that we get a duplicate user uh, error. And uh, so if we go over to PSQL here and refresh the users, we can see that the user password is hashed and it tells us the join date and the username as well as an empty token. Uh, the next thing to do would be to log in to get yourself a token. So uh, if we log in here with an incorrect password, you can see that invalid username or password, we can um, execute with the right password and then we get ourselves a token or if we go over to PSQL we can see that our token's been updated there and so we'll use this token to send and receive messages so we'll copy that um, so let's go and send a message so we head over here we'll try this guy out uh, first off, you try and send a message, you'll get an error without a token. Um, we'll send a message here. Uh, we get a message sent successfully. Uh, we'll send a second one just so that we have something else to look at. Execute that, message sent successfully. We then uh, can go and grab all the messages with the get. So you have to be signed in, have a token in order to do this. If you set it with all defaults, you get unable to get messages. Please ensure that you have a valid token. So we'll punch in a token. You can choose whether or not you want descending or ascending order. And you can choose how many messages you would like to receive. You execute that. And we can get the messages, second message, and hello there. If we run back over to SQL again, we can refresh the messages. And we see that we do have two new messages that are created at those times with those text and that user. Um, and now what we'll do is we basically want to reset this token for the logout. And so we'll do that next. And so the user logs out. They need to have a token to log out. They punch their token in. They click log out and they get a uh, message OK. Uh, it says OK whether or not it actually logs the user out just to not reveal too much information. And then we'll head back over to PSQL here and we can see that our token has been reset and it won't they won't get another one until they try to log in again. All right, so that's uh, been my little .NET API. Uh, thanks for watching.